Hi everyone and welcome to Power Plays. I'm Harry and today I'm coming at you with yet another speedy recovery video. Oh, I am loving this DLC so much. I've just got all three stars as you can see on the second hospital. That's sure. And you unlock three new vehicles in this level and I am here to tell you exactly all about them, what they do, what are the benefits, how they compare to the other vehicles. So, so if you're loving this DLC as much as I am, make sure you subscribe to the channel, keep on liking the videos and comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on these awesome vehicles, I mean look at them. Here are the three new vehicles, and as you can see, they are flying vehicles. So, in this hospital, you can see there are certain ones that you can only fly to. So if I click dispatch here, you get all your flying vehicles. I just realized, if I, let me just buy one, a compliant column. It'll demonstrate the point a lot better. If I click dispatch, you can see I cannot, cannot dispatch this vehicle. Uh, and that's because it is a fly zone only. But you can see up here, it's slightly faded, but there is a wheel and these ones are for land pickup only. So I would not be able to dispatch any flying vehicles. And then over here, you can dispatch what you want. There we go. All right, let's go into the three vehicle types. To start off with, you unlock the Relicopter. It's part of the Star 1 requirements. Um, and uh, I mean, first, it looks awesome, doesn't it? This is the level one, level two, level three. It's, it's level three, trust me. You can see they look completely the same, um, but there are some slight stat changes. So the Relicopter, is very much like your column, good old compliant column over here. It's kind of like average speeds compared to the other two vehicles. Uh, it picks up uh, only two people actually, it only can get two people at a time at its first level, which isn't that much. Um, it holds, well, you can see it's got a double space here, unlike the column. You can see that more clearly that. You know, you can fit two columns here. And the durability is pretty good. It's pretty good. As you um, upgrade it to a level two, you get a cap increase of plus two. So you can now carry four patients. And then to level three, you can carry six patients. And you can see, if I say click this dispatch and go down to the helicopter, you can see level one is 24 seconds, level two is 24 seconds, level three would be 21 seconds, fairly quicker. Uh, uh, sorry, not fairly, quicker, slightly quicker, but um, I, I just think that's because of the position of where my helicopter is at the moment. It's already on a mission, so it'll already be kind of ready to go. Um, so I, I wouldn't count on there being any speed increase for the helicopter. As I said, very similar to the compliant column. Next, let's move on to the Aver the Air Lubator. And this is losing my mind with the controls here. This is very much like your big healer in terms of it is quick. It is gonna get you there rapid. Um it's twice as quick as the, the Relicopter. You can see it only takes up one space, unlike the Big Healer or unlike the other two that we've got here, the Relicopter and the Feather Balloon. But we'll get into that. You can see the um, uh, Luvator, <laughs> exceptional speed, moderate durability, very low capacity, very low diagnosis. But you can see, um, it is pretty much twice as quick. Well, it is twice as quick there. 24 seconds, 12 seconds. But it can only pick up one person. And even as you upgrade it to level two, level three, you're still only picking up one person. What is improving though um, is the durability uh, and the, the diagnosis is what I've seen that it's slightly improved as you go up the levels. I probably wouldn't bother 
doing the upgrades on the air louvator um and it's it's a pretty although it, it looks funny it is great it's it's a pretty poor vehicle to be honest um it can only pick up one person um the uh, the uh, the big healer can pick up more um and you, you can see like it'd be good in this situation where maybe you can only you you've only got a minute to pick up one but yeah i I probably wouldn't prioritize it um, over any of the other flying vehicles anyway. And then finally, can I fit? Yeah, I can just fit one. Oh, I can fit one on the back here. Did not know that. See, I'm learning something new as well. Um, oh, there's a SEMA achievement. Got one of every vehicle on my hospital or in my hospital. So you can see the feather balloon. Um, low speed. This is very much like the um, <laughs> the, the Pantomobile. It's your clown car, but of the sky, and it looks fantastic. Um, although that plus was slightly worrying. Uh, so low speed, high durability, high capacity, good diagnosis, and it is very hard to miss. That is a fact. Very hard to miss. But you can see here, um, you know, 45 seconds. Oh, sorry, if I go to the first one, 29 seconds versus the Relicopter, which is... Oh, sorry, that's the third one. The first one, 45 seconds compared to the Relicopter, it's 24, so it's you know, an extra 20 seconds. Um, but as you can see, and that's my confusion, is as you upgrade it, the speed increases. Um, you still can only carry uh, eight in the Feather Balloon, but it... It gets quicker so if I dispatch this here you'll be able to see and I'll dispatch this one and let's dispatch the level three when it can if I click play hopefully we get some dispatches here and you're gonna have to track them and see them go on so that's our helicopter actually going to a different emergency it's kind of pointless um, but we have our feather balloon but look at the speed up. Look how quick. But only the one, which is slightly annoying. Uh, but it's going to keep on coming back for one and one and one and one. It's going to keep coming back. And you can see here's our feather balloon landing. And there we go. Very similar to the Pantomobile. And out they all come. It's lovely. I, I like it. I really like the feather balloon, just like I really like the, uh, the Pantomobile. And we can see... They're still going back, and there, there's an example of the vehicle only, so I can't assign any of these, but I can do all my, um, all my land vehicles. So you can see my Relicopter, upgraded at three, could only take six. And let's just fire some more Feather Balloons over there. So you can see that you know it, they're very similar to the to the other vehicles you know this is your pantomobile um this one's your your colin and then this one's your big healer and um, so you've got one built for speed one's pretty average um but is going to be you know pretty good all around and you've got one that's built purely for capacity you get a job you pay your taxes and in this level specifically, you do need to make sure that you're sorting out your emergency reputation. Now, emergency reputation um, is going to depend on a couple of things. Obviously, it's going to depend on your cure rate of your emergency patients that you're bringing in, but also how quickly are you responding to emergencies? Like, for example, if we responded to this one now, we'd probably get hit in reputation because all these people have already died. Whereas if they responded to this one, we got here quickly, our reputation would be pretty good because, just send everything there, um, because not that many people have died. So you wanna to respond to emergencies as quickly as possible and that's gonna sort out your, um, your emergency reputation. Obviously, curing them as well. And all of these only, just get rid of all these. Ah. All of these um, impacts only take into account once your last emergency patient for that emergency has left your hospital. So say for example, we get all of these patients, we only get the increase once they've all left. 
hopefully cured and healthy. So, my advice, get a couple of these Relicopters to start with. Um, I it's, it's, mean, it's the only one that you can get, but, you know, definitely get these in. I would get them upgraded because a cap of six is so much better. Sorry, a capacity of six is so much better. And you can see my hospital's about to get overran because I'm just bringing everyone in. And then I would move on to the Feather Balloon uh, for those more slower journeys uh, with lots of capacity. So like this one would be a perfect example to drop a Feather Balloon in. Um, whereas, you know, this one, you probably want a Relicopter or the Air Luvator, but I probably wouldn't pick it up because it's going to have a damage to your emergency reputation. So there you have it. That is my quick tips, quick guide to the three new vehicles to this level, how they compare to the current vehicles that we already had and you know what's best in what situation. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, do make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be coming out with more and more speedy recovery content and you do not wanna miss out. Keep liking the videos and comment down below what is your favorite vehicle? Mine for sure has to be the Feather Balloon. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye for now.